Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, and here we are with Gonza Rivera doing another uh, Let's Play video, and a bit of a tutorial while I'm at it. So, we've now that we've finished doing our quests, and we are finally out of school, one of the things I wanted to focus on a little bit, just to show you guys one of the grinds that I did with one of my mains, in case you're interested in the cooking uh, skills. Now there are lots of skills you could do. I feel like cooking is one of those ones early game that is really useful to have and it's easy to do and it'll be time consuming enough that you'll increase some of your levels, you'll get a lot of skills, you'll get a lot of bonuses for it. It's well worth it. I think one of the the catches to it that make it extra good is that the skills, the um, jobs are that are available are very much focused around them. So I chose the animal trading skill. Or animal dealer, whichever they call it, and this one will give me an extra boost uh, to these st uh, these skills. The, qu the, the, the catch to being in the job, you want to be in the job, you want them for the favored skills, which are marked by these yellow stars. They will increase, or I should say decrease, the amount of skill needed in order to level them. So if we go to trade, you'll see that here it takes only 100 to level the storage skill from level 1 to level 2, where normally it would take 200. Cuts all of that in half, which is essentially then cuts all of your regular uh, skill grinding in half as well. So I'm going to show you my uh, skill grind um, and how I get from level, what are we now? from level 4 cooking to say level 6 or 7 or so where you'll be making some of the better foods um, again you need to keep on buying different cookbooks in order to do so right now pigs are going to get us up to level 4 and 5 which is good I want to start making pork sausage and ham because that's where the profits really at but on top of that the simple recipes that we have here only go up as far as level 6 and I'm not a huge fan of these options because vegetable oil, salt, and potatoes are not all super close. Salt's close but potatoes and vegetable oil are not. Um, and then ham is good, again we said we need to make ham at level 5. Lard is good and cheese. Now if I remember correctly cheese isn't far off either so it is something that you could do. Let's look this up. Cheese. UWO. It's pretty simple to find. And the wiki says cheese could be found in Calvi, Malaga, and Porto. So it's not that bad, actually. I think you can get all of this in Porto. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Like, all of this, maybe except for ham. We might get pork or pig. And then you could turn that into ham and then take a lard and the cheese. And so you could do all that right in Porto. Um, so that's one grind you could do. Um, I prefer to do this grind here. I'm in Faro. This is where you will buy pigs, which I've already since bought pigs. So that's a bit of a failure. This is where you'll buy pigs. And then you'll need to get another cookbook called Nutritional Recipes in Casablanca. Um, but before we go and do that, why don't we, why don't we sail to Porto, just to see exactly how good Porto really is. It's just north of Lisbon, not terribly far, because this, that's not a bad grind either. The only issue is that if everything you need is in Porto, you'll need to leave Porto, go to another place, and then come back. If that's the case, you know, go to Lisbon or go to... Faro and go back and forth between Faro and Porto, get pigs in both places, and do any grinding that you can to turn pigs into ham. All the while, while you're constantly um, increasing your uh, vigor storage, too. That's the whole point. Um, you want to be able to make foods in which that give you um, uh, the extra vigor that you need to get, get you by because I had to buy last if you guys remember last episode I had to buy bagel sandwiches to get me by um, for the maritime quest so it's one of those things that like you don't want to do 
um, you know, having to keep buying stuff, but. All right, we're going to get to Porto first. We're going to take a look. Let's click, actually, since I have Porto open on my phone here, Porto sells at the market. Pork, lard, sausages, and cheese. See, there you go. So, that's what I mean. Like, you can get pork, turn it into ham, have the lard, buy it there, buy cheese. You might have to invest in Porto. I don't know. It doesn't say that. But, if that's the case, you could buy all the things you need right now and start making ham and cheese saute. That way you have some bigger food right what right now. And that's not a bad thing to go with, don't get me wrong. Like it's a good thing to start with. Um, and you can only hold up to two hundred of any one kind of food um, at one time. So you can hold two hundred ham and cheese, you can hold two hundred red bean and bacon, whichever. And that's why I'm gonna go get nutritional recipes because there's a lot of bacon, ham and sausage recipes made with beans at which you can get beans in um, Sueta. So, that's another little grind that I'll show you too. And you can do a combination of all these depending on where you are. Alright, so let's go to the market keeper. I chose the wrong side. Hmm. At Food Feeder, I'm at Cali Bank if needed. Cali. Alright, let's buy. So yeah, we could do some wheat grind too if you wanted to. That doesn't get as much experience and I don't really have the space for it. So we're going to get our cheese. So our limiting factor seems to be the cheese here and the lard. So we're going to get pork. Can I get it all? Yep. And so our recipe... Oh, by the way, I also picked up the poultry ones at some point, too. It requires ham. Ugh, I'm an idiot. I can't make ham yet. But what I can do is I can make from the pork that he gave us. I can make bacon or I can make lard. And we're going to make lard because lard's something we're going to need anyways. I'm mad at myself because now I can't sell this stuff for a profit. Okay, lesson learned. I thought it was pork that was needed to make ham and cheese. Let me say that again. Ham is used to make ham and cheese. I should have known better. Anyways, so this is not a bad place to go once you unlock the ability to make ham. So <clears throat> we're going to avoid that for now. We're, we're going to take the goods with us um, and see if we can sell them in Casablanca. Oh, before I leave here though, I just want to see. Again, check the item shop, see what the item shots have when it comes to cookbooks and stuff. I don't know for sure off the top of hand. But it doesn't hurt to look. He sells livestock pigs. Okay. Good to know. I like to look to see what everybody has when it comes to items. Do I have fishing skill? Because if I do, I don't need that stuff anymore. I do, so I don't need the fishing skill stuff anymore. Free up some space in the inventory. Alright. Top off on bigger. So yeah, lesson learned. Don't go here until you've learned how to make ham. Which, this is why I'm showing you the pig grind level 4, because in order to do the ham saute, you need to have uh, level 5. So, lesson learned. Alright, so, reset, start again. So, this place will be a great place to go. 
but not just yet. Let's get ourselves to Casablanca. Now, Casablanca is pretty much straight, straight south from here. Such a shame. What can you do? Alright, so I'm going to show you the cook and grind until I get to level 5. Um, I want to show you the foods that you could make with the nutritional recipes that I'm going to get in Casablanca. Actually, I got an idea. Cargo, convert to supplies. Oh, I can't yet because I'm still too full. Dang, I really screwed myself. One of the first things I really want to do, too, is show you guys how to get an aid. It's another thing that's on the checklist. I might. I might. Since I got the money, I might um, take Gonzo back into Seville, get my trade level to level 20, get myself an aid so I can start training that aid up as fast as possible because the sooner I get that aid to level 20 uh, level 50 I should say trust <coughs> then I can get a boat to follow along and expand my cargo hold because this cargo I think cutting it and I have other ships I could use that have Like, I could use the trade sloop. That would just be probably better right now. We'll probably do that. The more... The, this trade... This memorial sloop is, is good and fast and all, but the trade sloop ain't much slower. It's pretty much the same speed. Not much of a difference. Now, all the while, you guys could continue to do quests from your from your uh, major cities or from Sagers if you want to keep on repeating them. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's always good. I was also looking about like how I might go about like doing some other skill grinds with this character. I thought maybe I'd do shipbuilding, but then I looked at it today to realize how much shipbuilding really truly is. I said, oh boy. First off, I still need to get this to rank th 3, and then shipbuilding grind is a nightmare, I'm told. But, it's something to learn. And there are people out there that I can learn from that can tell me a lot, but I know very little of it. And in order to get to the shipbuilding um, uh, like the job that would give you shipbuilding as a favorite skill, cut the leveling in half. Uh, you have to like tactics seven. And where's tactics? Tactics seven. Okay. Now we're here in Casablanca. I'm gonna invest while I'm here. Just in case I need to for, you know, unlocking things with the shopkeeper. Sometimes certain things only can unlock with shopkeepers after a certain level of investment. Let's see. Okay, you don't have the item. I thought you did. Geez, at least sells here for a profit. Okay, and now I need to look up where nutritional recipes were. I thought it was. In Casablanca. Oh, 
Ha, yep, after an investment of 120,000. That was only 60,000, so I have to do that again. There's the catch. So, we'll have to come back. Learning a lot as we do this. You know, I, this is why I say invest in places a lot as you go, because you never know when something like this is necessary. This is only like the second time I've been here. If I had just invested the last time I was here, it probably would have been fine, but... This gives me a chance to go back to... Pharaoh and buy some more pigs. Now, don't worry about accidentally like, oh, well, I just used all of this space to make seasonings, like I said, like, sell the stuff. Just do it again. Like, you're going to grind a lot. You're just, it, yeah, it might seem like a waste. Like, oh, I needed that lard to do the ham and cheese. But in reality, it's not a big deal. I could have sold it in Casablanca. Lesson learned. <coughs> We're learning a lot today. So anyway, so I thought maybe we'd do shipbuilding. But I think that's something I might want to do later on with one of my other characters when I do have a tactics of seven or higher. So with this character, I think this might be a good... Uh, just like I said, a base character. I don't have to do anything crazy. Cooking is a good grind. Textile trading and sewing might be a good grind because I might be able to make other things. Handicrafts might not be bad. I'm already doing casting with another character. Which I could always show you what I do for that grind, but again, I'm already past a lot of the grinds. I'm running like level 11 or higher and casting in there. So, cooking might be the one I'm just going to show you here. Again, it's not the money making thing, but it is a good way to grind your storage skill and your management skill. Fishing is necessary if you want to do storage, that's for sure. So that's why we're doing that. And I probably should start fishing, which is. Every time we go sailing, just start sailing with fish. That way you can start using your fisherman's preservation to start boosting your storage skill. While we're here, we're also going to change ships to my trade sloop. First, we'll sell our lard. We will make a profit as long as we're not selling it the city that we uh, got it from. And we'll buy our pigs. And we will switch ships. Change ships. Trade sloop. Could do the trade caravel, but the trade sloop is faster. And the galley we could do holds even more space. You know, you might want to do this just because of the size of the, sh you know, cargo hold, which you're more than welcome. Uh, but I just like the sloop a lot. The sloop is just a really good ship. So we're going to go ahead and choose him. We'll have to dismiss a sailor for that. It's not a big deal. And then we'll go to auto sail. Go back to Casablanca. And we're back on the road. Now we could use our pigs. Now the reason why I'm doing this at sea is because it's, it's something to do while at sea, first off. Secondly, because once we get the management skill, which I'll show you where that is, after getting storage level 3, and we already have Frugality level 1, storage level 3, then we got to go to Veracruz uh, out in the Caribbean. 
to get to our management skill because our management skill high level methods of magic bring about the effective use of equipment on special vessels so you're going to want to grind that because eventually on your different ships there will be these little skill slots and as you see here this requires a management skill of level 2 in order to as well as also navigation skill level 3 to increase the restoration value of repairs for all allies during sea battle you know not important but these are little special skill ships that happen in, in your ships so it doesn't hurt to do um, to, to get that grinded now that reminds me I want to look at what navigation where do I get that I can already get that as long as I have a venture level 20 which won't be long and that is in Cabra uh, Bahia which I believe is in South America too so something we're going to have to do once we hit level 20 adventure which should take forever a few extra um, uh, quests in adventure ought to just get us there considering we are already only 1299 away from 19 just sailing and discovering these ports will do this for you. I mean, I haven't discovered like any of the Northern Africa ports of this character. That may even get us to level 20. Okay. Let's not forget to invest because we know we can't get the thing we need unless we invest so notice not every city can be invested in you won't always see the invest or option here with this you know city official or it'll see you'll see it but it'll say you can't because it's owned by a city when it says allied country next to the top or at left hand corner that means that the city can be invested in certain cities are up for grabs because it says portugal portugal's been investing in it the most oh look at that i got nutritional rep recipes so that's what we had to do by investing, it gave us the sh uh, the uh, the book, so that's good. I'll go ahead and put it in my binder, and then I'm going to open it up so you guys can see what options this gave us. This gave us the bean and bacon soup, so I can make bacon now, and by get beans and sueta, I can get broad beans too, with pork. That's probably the one that I'm going to do. This one's not bad either. This probably gives us more vigor for this. But I, this is a faster grind, probably, so that's probably what we'll do with the broad bean soup. Broad beans, I believe, we can get here. Yeah, broad beans we can get here. So we're going to buy some of those. You're going to be coming back to Casablanca later on, too, for upland rice when you're doing chicken paella. Alright, so we have our broad beans. Our nutritional recipes require broad beans to be paired with pork so not with ham that's the little catch we don't need to make ham we don't need to turn into bacon gotcha this is why this one's probably better in general the steamed beans and pork because you're going to turn the pork into sausage for level five i believe you have to level five to turn it into sausage and then you're going to use two red beans per one sausage it just means an extra grind station grind step which gets you more experience but since we have what we have here we're going to go ahead and just turn our pigs into pork so livestock pig secrets pigs turn into pork we need to get some vigor which we're not going to be able to speak to the guy because he speaks Portuguese so we need to eat something convert the rest of our pigs to pork so now we have a ratio of 48 to 45 so that we should be able to make a good chunk of this broad bean soup using our nutritional recipes you will get full and drunk when you eat this much 
but it's good. That's why it's good to have the vigor food because you can continue to eat it, even though you are full from the guy. And there you go. And then I'll convert the last of this into ham, or lard or bacon. Maybe we'll start doing the lard. Actually, no. We'll just turn it to to bacon. There you go. And we went from our cooking skill, just by doing that alone, we're about, just about a fourth of the way through. And then we're going to repeat this process. Yeah, you can go to the market keeper here if you have any spare goods, in this case it's bacon, and sell it to him. You know, he doesn't have the highest of rates, but... Pharaoh probably. We're going back to Pharaoh so we can go sell it to Pharaoh if we want to make the most money for three of it. But um, but yeah, there you go. That's the first step. And then we're just going to repeat the process by going back to Pharaoh, buying pigs. and repeating the pig process all over again. Now I'm going to go ahead and move simple recipes out of here because I no longer need that out of my custom slots and we're going to swap it with nutritional recipes because we're going to use the pigs, nutritional recipes and uh, fisherman's preservation as much as possible. So that should be our new... yeah. And you know what though? That's the basic grind. You could do just pigs and solely grind pigs by going back and forth between Sagers and Por uh, Pharaoh, which that's enough to just keep you busy and the grind is a lot faster. So right next door to each other. And that may be what you want to do after you've made a lot of food. I mean, in this case, I just made a handful of fava bean soup, which is the same effect of cassoulet, except it also has scurvy recovery, which is good. Um, so it's totally up to you how you want to, um, you know, do this. I mean, you're eventually not going to be able to make any more of the fava bean soup because you can only hold 200 of it. You could probably do this grind one more time to stack up on fava bean soup. But you're going to level through these foods so quickly that you may not even get a chance to finish eating all of the food before you go on to the next stage and you're making level 5 cooking food so you know it's up to you what you want to do if you're looking to grind skill or management back and forth porto sagers porto sagers or sorry pharaoh sagers pharaoh sagers and you'll just get all the pigs you need and chicken to grind and cook up whatever you want to do Notice, guys, I haven't used any of my pendants here. This is not an experience grind for me. This is a skill grind, and those are proficiency grinds. And we're out of the 100% window, so I'm not going to use them this week, this, or at least during this period. Yeah, it would be nice to get an extra double the experience during the period of time, but we didn't do that in time. Plus, it's a relatively easy grind. I'm not going to complain. All right, so we're back in Faro. I said we should be able to sell the bacon here for more money than what we would have sold it down there. Yeah, more, but not like it's going to break the bank. I don't really need the extra hundred, a couple hundred. So I'll buy our pigs. Now, if you noticed, oh, parsley's here. I can't buy a lot of it because I don't have the spice trade skill. But in nutritional recipes, there is an option down here for pork of beans and parsley to make herb fried pork and beans you know it's basically broad bean soup but with parsley you could do that too maybe you could do that in addition to you don't, we don't make as much you'll only probably make a handful at a time from doing this because you need a lot of parsley you can only make maybe seven to ten of these per trip but if you're looking to do the grind as well as also maybe get some spice skill grind if you get the spice skill then you're more than welcome to do that too but again this is about being efficient 
So in this case, efficiency is simple as buying pigs, converting them, going there, cooking up cassoulet, or not cassoulet, of red bean soup, and coming back. And then going back and forth with Sagers and Porto, just continue to grind until you hit level 5. And then when you hit level 5, you can make, go all the way to Porto, and simply just do all one set of grinding there with ham and cheese. Just take the pork, convert it to ham, buy all the items, sell. Sell to another city, buy stuff there. I would say go back to Porto. I mean, go back to to Sagers, buy the pigs, convert the pigs to, to pork, then pork to ham, then go back to uh, Porto again and do the whole thing all over again. But I want to make as much bigger food as I can, so we're gonna we're gonna go back to Casablanca again. Get the broad beans. I'm gonna go ahead and also put here. Since I'm not doing repair skill, I'm gonna swap it out for fishing. Get some fishing in. Because, like I said, you should be kind of like fishing as much as you can as you go to start boosting that skill. Because it's a that's also a slow grind. You only get a proficiency each and every time you catch a fish, which, as you can see here, is going to take close to 200 fish. So, oh, I got a hit already. And they got a fish. That was the first fish I ever caught, so I got a. Uh, memorial album thing. Now, memorial albums, this is something I never talked about. By the way, I got all these things to claim. Ooh, LCCs. LCTs. Lots of stuff here to claim. But anyways, oh, my line snapped. Memorial albums are essentially uh, achievements, I guess, for fishing and cooking and collecting of specialties. You know, easy things to do, don't get me wrong, like, you could focus on these, like, catch all the different kinds of fish that are hard to catch within the f beginning regions, and you will get, um, a reward for this. Yeah, you'll get an expert fisherman's gear f from Mercator in Amsterdam, just for doing that. Um, here you're getting all the, you'll get from something from President Shylock in Venice, from getting all the Eastern Mediterranean goods, for doing all the different treasure tr uh, things in the area, you're going to get something. Um, for here, translation notes. If I get all the translation notes, I get something from John D. in London. If I get all the canons, I'll get Cannoneer's notes. If I get all the figureheads, I'll get Ilyunyanka, Squisite Sweets, you know, so on and so forth. Result, you know, you'll get rewards for doing that. You can try to focus those if you want to, but not as important to do. It's kind of like additional challenge missions. I don't know that we need to invest anymore, but we're gonna. Just because. I think as you invest too, you increase your ability to buy more and more trade goods at the Market Keeper. So, that's why I'm doing it. Let's go buy our broad beans again. Go ahead and convert our pigs to pork. Done. I had to go get some more vigor. You can see how this grind gets a little boring. But it's a really short grind comparison to other grinds. Like, incredibly short compared to other grinds. Like, the shipbuilding grind I hear is really bad, so. Okay, then we go back to nutritional recipes, and we can do broad bean soup again. Now we got 81 more frappe bean soups. Now I can't do this again, because obviously I'll have to stop making it at 200. But maybe I'll just use up the last of my cassoulets. Go ahead and change that cassoulet over to the fava bean soup. So now fava bean soup's an option. Not much, it's not better vigor recovery, but it's good. 
Um, and then we can go ahead and convert our last of our pig to bacon. And return to Pharaoh. And see where we're at with our cooking skill now. Mm, it's not going to take long. But you get the idea. It's a really simple grind. Doing the pigs is like 99%. Oops. You know, I just thought of something. I don't need to cut these other things. They're really not necessary. We'll make our ship a little bit faster. And back to Pharaoh we go. Fire to Sagers is a good option, I think, personally, because Fire to Sagers will get you chickens too and Sagers, and you can convert the chickens over to chicken. And you could even do the simple recipes book if you wanted to convert wheat over to flour. Um, but that's about it. So I'm not going to show you the entire grind and everything that I, you know, getting to that level. But as soon as you get to level four, um, you automatically unlock pretty much the rest of these food options. Um, I can't make steamed pork and beans. I can't make herb fried pork and beans. So that's one of those things why I suggest um, going and getting to level five as, uh, as soon as possible. Um, simple recipes, like I said. There is a level 6 option here, but you can't make it very easily. But the ham and cheese option should give you some more vigor than some of the other options because it requires a level 5 recipe ham in order to make ham and cheese saute. I believe it might be a plus 30 vigor. Again, better, but not, not amazing. Um, and then, the next thing you should probably look for is makeable meats. Makeable meats... Let's find out where that nutritional, where that book is from. Make a bowl. Meats in UWO. It's another book. You get, um, Makeable Meats, the cookbook, is in Genoa, so not terribly far. It's in the Mediterranean. But here you could use it starts to unlock level 5 and level 6 and level 7 and level 8 cooking options here is where you will make my next personal favorite once you get to level 6 is oh am I making fava bean soup right now? Hmm. If I'm making fava bean soup right now, okay, so, okay, so that's something you could do. So you could do this grind right now to get fava bean soup, and then use ham to upgrade it. So you're already coming back and forth between Faro and here and getting spare extra ham, spare extra pigs among all of this. You can then take that and turn it into bean soup with meat. Apparently fava bean soup didn't have any meat in it even though we used pork in it in the first place. Um, so anyways, and then it will be your level 5 grind. Easy enough. Or you can continue to grind um, what we're doing here until you hit level 5. It's not a big deal to just continue doing what you're doing until you're at level 5. Just grinding pigs, grinding pigs, grinding pigs until you get to level 5. Just pass it all because it's a lot easier than making this, but I think it's pretty easy to do. Make fava bean soup and then convert more pigs to ham and then add it to fava bean soup from the Makeable Meats book, which you can get in Genoa at their item keeper. Um, yeah, it doesn't say where do I get the book? Item shop, yeah. So go to the item shop, get the book Makeable Meats, and then you can make. Um, this grind again, but then add ham to it to get beans with bean soup with meat. And then once you're at level six, you can make pork and apple saute, 
which pork and apple saute is easy, just takes pork and lard, which you can get in Porto, and then sail to, I believe it's Calais, where you can get dried apples. You won't be able to get a lot of dried apples there, but you can go back and forth between Calais and La Havre, which is right next door, La Havre, and get a decent amount of dried apples and make your level 6 pork and apple saute. And that'll be your level 6 grind. And I would suggest doing that until you're level 7. I'm sorry, level 8. And if you're level 8 or level 7, whichever, you can get an item that boosts your cooking by 1. That's fine. And then you're going to move on to sweet and sour chicken, which is also in the Makeable Meats book at level 8. And then from level 8, you'll need another book, which I believe is called Eastern... Um, Middle uh, Eastern European or Middle Eastern European or something like that cuisine. It's like Mediterranean cuisine, East Mediterranean cuisine, which you will be making uh, chicken paella, which is used with the upland rice in Casablanca. Chicken from anywhere around here doesn't matter where you get the chicken from, whether it's from Porto or Sagres, or not Porto, uh, Lisbon or Sagres, or even here because this guy sells poultry because you need poultry, not chicken. And then you need saffron from Malaga. So you're not going to be able to get much saffron in Malaga until you get, the, get, get the, the spice skill. But that is where I'm sitting at with my food right now, on my main character. It doesn't give me the most vigor. There are better vigor foods out there, but it'll do you everything you need. And once you're there, you're set. I mean, you don't even need to get to that, and you'll be fine, as long as you carry a good chunk of food with you. But that is my favorite grind. So hopefully you caught all of that, because that is the main grind stations that I would do uh, for this. As soon as I'm done with exhausting this book out up to level 5, or level 4, I should say. Because I want to get to level 4. So right now I'm only level, or I'm at level 4, but I want to get to level um, 5 so I can make ham. Once you get to level five and you're making ham and cheese applesauce or ham and cheese, then you can run over to get um, Genoa and start doing the level five grind there instead of doing ham and cheese. And you can do this run that I'm doing now, but just add ham to it to get that bonus food. And, and there you go. I mean, that's the cooking grind, and you're going to do that as much as you possibly can until you're at the level that you think is appropriate for feeding your character. Um, also, I guess I should mention, I have some fish in my inventory. I have blue mackerel and, and uh, sardines, so I'm going to go ahead and convert these over to fish. And that should increase my storage skill. Not cooking, by the way. Different skill. I did a little bit. Okay, I'm going to keep doing that until I'm high enough storage so that I can get to management at some point. Storage level 3. But that's just another grind on itself. So that's the cooking grind tree in a nutshell. I'm not going to be able to show you all of it, but as soon as I hit those stages with this character um, of going out and getting the management skill and um, getting navigation skill, which I said navigation was an adventure skill once I hit level 20, you know, those are things you got to pay attention to. But not, as of the cooking skill, that's it. Hopefully this was informational on how to do the cooking skill if you are in Spain or, or Portugal, maybe even Venice. The uh, options to you for the northern portions are f probably good too. I just find this to be the closest and the easiest to do. So even if you come down here from London and you're doing this grind, this is a good grind for cooking. So hopefully that was helpful and if anybody has any questions, please feel free to leave comments in the section below. Please. Uh, like and subscribe, and as always, have a great day.